Spain's ruling Partido Popular Party has issued its most severe warnings to date to Catalan Premier Carles Puigdemont over the consequences of tomorrow's widely predicted declaration of independence, with a PP spokesman saying he could end up like the historic Catalan leader Louis Companies, in jail. Anybody that declares it could end up like the one who tried it 83 years ago, the PP's Deputy Secretary for Communication, Pablo Casado, said on Monday, in a reference to Lewis Company's failed bid for independence and subsequent spell in prison in 1934. Mr. Pugdemont is widely expected to declare independence in the regional parliament on Tuesday evening, nine days after the Catalan region voted for independence in a referendum dismissed by Madrid as illegal. Speaking with 24 hours to go, Mr. Casado said the Prime Minister, Mariano Rajoy, planned to avail himself of every means provided by Spanish law and the Constitution to fight any declaration. Although he did not say which specific charges Mr. Pugdemont might face, according to El Español, Mr. Casado warned that in Spain the crimes of sedition carry a maximum prison sentence of 15 years and rebellion against the state 25 years. Mr. Companies was himself sentenced to 30 years in jail. The independence leaders are going to run headlong into the courtroom dock, Mr. Casado predicted. It's going to cost them. Mr. Casado was later careful to point out that his comparisons with Mr. Companies had referred to the Catalan's 1934 trial and incarceration after the independence bid, not to his subsequent capture, torture and execution by General Franco's police in 1940. I meant that history should not repeat itself, he explained, and if you forget history, you're condemned to repeat it. In history, declarations of independence by Catalonia have fared very badly. Mr. Casado also insisted there was no room now for international mediation and that the Spanish government had nothing to negotiate with the golpistas, the Spanish word for conspirators in a coup d'etat. Meanwhile, Deputy Prime Minister Soraya Sines de Santa Maria made what she called an appeal to sensible people inside the Catalan government not to fling itself into the abyss. She bluntly described Mr. Pugdemont as a fanatic and insisted that this is why we need a double dose of common sense. It a declaration of independence will not go unanswered, she said, adding that all measures necessary will be taken in response. The PP's hardline attitude towards Mr. Pugdemont has been given fresh momentum by Sunday's massive pro-Spanish unity rally in Barcelona. But it also found further backing on Monday when the opposition leader Pedro Sánchez, head of the Socialist Party, finally confirmed that his party would stand by the Spanish state if a declaration of independence materialized. Meanwhile, Nils Moisnix, the Human Rights Commissioner of the Council of Europe, revealed that he has requested Spain's Ministry of the Interior set up an independent inquiry into multiple claims of disproportionate use of excessive force by the Spanish police during the banned referendum on 1 October. More about Catalonia Catalan Independence Referendum Spain Reuse Content